Hi. Hi everybody. We're going to be looking at roundabouts today. Now, what I'm going to be talking about is what gear I'm in, and you can be able to see the camera on my feet, see what my feet are up to, and I'll try, I'll try and cover the speeds at the same time. So I'm hoping it helps you to understand your, your feet, why you're at roundabouts, what they should be up to, and what sort of gears you should be doing. And I'll, I'll, I'll try and talk about what I'm doing on the roundabout, what lane I'm in, what mirrors, and so on. So let's get driving. So we come to the first roundabout at the moment, and we're in second gear, I'm checking my mirrors, because I'm gonna go right, signaling right, covering the brake, cover the clutch, checks me right, I'm in the right lane, it's clear, so I'm off the brake, and I'm off. In, in the right lane, taking the third exit, there's the first, there's second, checking the centre mirror left, signaling to come off, there's a silver cam on my left side, yeah, it's still there. And we're gonna follow the, the road ahead, I'm in third gear now, so we're going to go ahead, taking second exit, checking my mirrors, braking, bringing the speed down from 30 down to about 20 for second gear, let's clutch it for second gear, there's the middle lane, it's clear on the right, it's still clear on the right, so I'm going to carry on going, come across the left lane, checking my side mirror, and letting everyone know the left signal. Now, I'm not going to change gear just yet, I'm going to change gear now, it's a little straight bit, I'm in third gear now. And I'm building my speed up to fourth gear. There's fourth gear. So as obviously when you're changing gear off the gas clutch, it changes the gear off the clutch. And we're gonna go ahead again. Keep it nice and simple to start with. So I'm approaching the roundabout and do 50 mile an hour on a 60 road, checking my mirrors as I get to the roundabout sign. It's a good little prompt for you. Covering my brakes, slowing myself down for second gear from four to second I'm gonna do. There's your middle lane, clutching it for a second. Lift the clutch very slowly, got loads of time. Checking what's happening. There's a bit of traffic, so I'm gonna clutch down for first gear. Get me positioned when I pull off. Check what's happening in the left lane, not a lot. Get the gas and biting point. And follow that car out. Change the gear a second before I start turning. Check their mirrors and signal to come off that roundabout. And there's a couple of little areas, back to third gear where I could change gear then. As I pulled off, before I started turning with that bend, I changed the gear. If you're not as quick as that, then you'll do it on the exit. Work straight again. Down to fourth gear now. I get a little gap develop in front of me. Now, if you're not too short, two second gap you want between you and the car in front of you. It's raining, four second gap. If it's snowing or icy, 10 second gap. I would say 10 times the gap you want. Just cruising along at the moment. It's quite busy, it's a bank holiday. I'm doing 48 mile an hour. I'm only going as fast as the traffic. Pop it in fifth gear now. So I'm approaching the roundabout in fifth gear. We're gonna do a right turn this time, taking the third exit. There's your roundabout sign. Remember, that's your prompt to do things. It can help you. So start checking what's happening, centre mirror, right mirror, signalling, braking, slowing myself down for that second gear, I don't want to go around in third, there's your right lane, get my speed down towards 20 mile an hour, clutch it from fifth to second, lift the clutch slowly, there's a bit of traffic, cover the clutch, lower it for first, and I'll love gas to go. Back to second gear, fold it round. There's your little prompt, centre mirror left, signalling, telling everyone you're coming off. There's no confusion. If there was a car on my left side then, because it does happen, people do silly things, then take the right lane to get out of his way. Back to fourth gear. Though, even though, even though it's your right way to get across, if there's someone there, don't force your way in it. Back to fifth gear now, doing 50 odd mile an hour. On a dual carriageway, it's 70 mile an hour, this one here, national speed limit. If you're enjoying the video, by the way, give it a thumbs up. We're going to go left at the roundabout. Can't go in the left lane straight away, there's a bus lane there. Covering the brake. Checking my mirrors, signalling. Not going in the left lane yet, but I'm bringing my speed down. When I go past these out of action lights, I'm going to drop to the second gear and change lane at the same time. Checking that left mirror, make sure no one's there, dropping the gears. Coming across, little blind spot check, just in case there's someone there. Covering my brake, I'm in second gear approaching. It's, a bit, it's quite busy on the right, so I'm slowing down for first gear. 
Straight into first gear as a stop. Check in, there's a car behind that van. Yeah, I thought there was then. Big trucks, heavy goods vehicles hide lots of dangers. So if it's a heavy goods vehicle going round the roundabout, by the way, and you can't see what's behind him, don't just assume you can go, because it could be a car coming around him fast. Back to third gear. There's a little mini going past me on the right, which is fine. If you're allowed to do that. It's got a dual lane. I'm in fourth gear now. I'm doing 45 miles an hour, building my speed up. I'm doing 50, 54 miles an hour now. And we're gonna go left at a roundabout, first exit this time. So we're checking our mirrors, signaling, covering the brake, get my speed down, get my speed down again for that left lane, dropping down to second gear from, from fourth. Checking, it's clear, lifting the clutch slowly. If you come off the clutch pretty quick, you're gonna judder. Back to third gear, because he can get his speed up pretty quick. So we're carrying on here, we're gonna go ahead at the roundabout. So we're checking our mirrors, slowing ourselves down. I'm in fifth gear at the moment, dropping the clutch down to second gear. It's a bit of traffic on the right, slightly painting the lines up very well and back off the clutch. Now I was going to go to first gear then but as I got closer that car was going through faster than I thought so I didn't need to go to first gear. Now to fourth gear now, building the speed back up, building it back up all the time. Now at the roundabout we're going to do a right turn, so there's a dual lane, so I'm going to change lanes. So I'm checking what's happening around there. It's a white car approaching, but quite far away. I'm going to do things early. Let, let him know. Come across, a little, little shoulder check then. I'm going to leave the signal on because I'm going past the sign. Slow myself down from fifth gear down to 20 mile an hour per second. Dropping down to second gear at this point. Lift the clutch slowly. Checking to the right. It's actually not too bad, so I'm going to follow it round in the right lane, not in the curb, not drifting. That's what you've got to think like. Checking centre mirror left, signalling left to come off. Back to third gear on that little straight bit there. Or you could wait till you get to this bit here when you're straight here. Whatever's easier, depends on what level you're at. We're going to go left at this next left coming up. Down to fourth gear. Centre mirror, left mirror. There it is, signal in, tell them nice and early, covering the brake, get my speed down. Don't be tempted to rush into the estate, get your speed down. I'm going to go to third gear this time. Checking to the right, see what that silver car is up to. It's doing nothing, so I'm going to carry on going. And we're going to follow the road ahead at this little roundabout, dropping down to second gear to make it easy, because they're only tight, the little small ones. And then we're going to pull over on the left. Let him know behind us. handbrake neutral signal if you've enjoyed the video and it's helping you fantastic watch out for my next video next week